school year at Sturgeon Composite High School brought new bathrooms, many of them gender neutral. The number of gender neutral washrooms is very high. They sent two whole sets as well as two individual stalls to gender neutral and there's one set for male female and this does not at all represent the population of people who require the gender neutral accommodation. Some students say they're uncomfortable sharing the facilities. There's little like uh, like square things for like the drains come through and you can peep through those and everything and there's already been privacy concerns and apparently pictures of students being taken in the washrooms and there's not much privacy at all. So instead some walk further to the gender specific bathrooms creating lineups. There's usually three or four guys in there at times so you're sitting there waiting and it's I've never used the gender neutral washrooms once just because it's a little bit awkward to use. That didn't sit well with Evan Gabby. He started a petition calling for more separate boys and girls bathrooms. I alone had 112 signatures. The only reason I couldn't get more was because I ran out of forms. I didn't print off enough. He ended up with more than 300 signatures, almost half the student population. Now parents are joining the ranks. It's getting pretty big now. I mean, people are starting to perk up because our school is not the only school who's implemented policies like this. The education minister is paying attention too. In Sturgeon, um, clearly they have to make sure that they accommodate everybody and um, make sure that everybody's needs are met and, uh, you know, I hope that they can sort this out as soon as they can. Students say the solution is simple, a better bathroom balance. Nobody's against it. We just rather have more gender specific than we do currently. Sarah Krause, Global News. Global News reached out to the school and the school division, but no one was available to comment. Trustees will vote on the matter next Wednesday in Morinville.